IPA British Secretary of State for Exiting the European Union, David Davis speaking at an event in London, the Brexit Secretary dismissed the scaremongering by Remainers who have relentlessly attempted to talk down British economic prospects in a bid to overturn the referendum result, Mr Davis told the Wall Street Journal event, there is not going to be a mass migration, the critical mass is still going to be here, he said. The reason that the city is the biggest and most successful financial centre in the world. Is not just Europe, it's about the massive skills, the business environment here, it's about the reliability of tax law. He has previously briefed out that 90% of the Brexit deal is, now agreed but Northern Ireland remains a sticking point with Remainers and the European Commission trying to use the Irish border question as a means to tie Britain's regulation system to the EU. The withdrawal agreement is payments of up to £39 billion, it's a lot of money David Davis but Mr Davis suggested that imaginative solutions can be found including giving tax-free status, the Brexit secretary has said, he said quite large exemptions could be granted to businesses that are not given authorised economic operator status, trusted traders, to enable trade to continue between Northern Ireland and the Republic. Mr Davis also said Parliament is unlikely to sign off the withdrawal deal unless it is a substantive agreement. The withdrawal agreement involves payments of up to £39 billion, it's a lot of money and Parliament is unlikely to sign off such a deal unless we can be pretty substantive what's going to be there in the long run, he said. Ipamer Davis has said that Parliament is unlikely to sign off withdrawal deal on the Irish border, he added. There's a tax border between the North and South, there's an excise border, there's a currency border. There is, in effect, no personnel border because of the common travel area. The common travel area was created in 1923, it's been there all the time, it's not going to go. So what we're talking about is, number one, how we continue to maintain a tax border, bear in mind we're looking, for a zero tariff outcome a tax border and an excise border and so on, much as we do now. Mr Davis said one area of difficulty was very small businesses straddling the border, such as farms and tiny companies, that is going to have to be addressed, we think, in the first case by quite large exemptions, so in effect we will give them tax-free status. Mr Davis also warned that MPs will insist on a lot of detail before signing off on any deal because Britain will have to make a payment of about £39 billion to the EU to honour its financial obligations to the trade bloc. The withdrawal agreement is payments of up to £39 billion, it's a lot of money, and Parliament is unlikely to sign off on it unless we can be pretty substantive about what is going to be there in the long run. Davis said at a Wall Street Journal event in London, opponents of leaving the EU have identified winning enough support in the lower House of Parliament, the House of Commons, to block any possible deal the government brings back from Brussels as their best chance of overturning Brexit.